hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men. It is so good to see you again, dear child. Remember, the Church of the Children of Atom is always here for you. Salvation is attainable. Help us, and we in turn help Megaton. How much would you like to donate? Bless you, child. Bless you. Very well. Hey, what's the word? Hell yeah, I do. I could be out there and kicking butt in my own gang and everything. The tunnel snakes could ride again! Or, you know, slither again. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, you'd be perfect for my gang. You're in! Tunnel snakes rule! What's up? Sure, fine, whatever. If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. Sure thing, man. Time for some fun! Oh yeah! This is so good! It's on! It's so on!
Billy. I'm sorry I stole it. You deserve to have it back. Remember the old scrapyard north of the Bethesda ruins? Look in the burned out bus in the northwest corner. You're an old red box car. Tell Laureen I still love her and I'm sorry for everything. I hope somebody finds this before the buzzards tear it to pieces. Your loving brother, John. Rollings. That's the last of these fucking hold wellers. Jurley wants to shop them around up north. Not sure if they'll make good slaves, since their eyesight is so shitty, but that's not our problem. So gather the boys and saddle up. Next stop, the pit. You found a Vault Tech Limited Edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, When words fail, there's always fists. Your unarmed skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. You get the fang. Yeah!
boring. What was that noise? What's up? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. Time once again for an important GNR public service announcement. Just a friendly reminder to all you would-be bigots out there, ghouls are people, too. You see, children, ghouls are simply humans who've been exposed to an ungodly amount of radiation and haven't had the fortune to die. Sure, they may look like idiots. Zombies from an old monster clip, but their hearts and souls and tears are all very much human. So please, if you meet one of the Capital Wasteland's many ghouls, leave your prejudice at the door and your pistol in its holster. Ah yes, one important caveat, kiddies. Those feral ghouls that prefer the dark dank underground? They are basically mindless zombies, so kill as many as you damn well please. And
how you like it. You've found a Vault Tech Limited Edition Wobbly Head. The inscription on the base reads, The safest distance between two points is a shadowy line. Your sneak skill has been permanently increased by 10 points.
if someone's following me? What's the story, my fellow? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Care to quit your whistle? He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Or at least that's what my files say. I have an excellent selection of thirst quenchers.
just call me G Charmed, I'm sure. Yes? Evening. Good to see you. What's up? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. Sure thing, man. Good to see you. Welcome to new urban apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. Hmm. You're certainly welcome to try, aren't you? Talk to Chief Gustavo. Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do, live in style. And you can thank me for that. I'm the resident guide to all things fabulous. And I'll tell you what isn't ever in style. Disgusting ghouls getting their rotting paws all over everything. That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. A very well-dressed gentleman, when he bothers to get dressed, he hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. I only carry the finest garments. You must come back soon. Bye bye And how are you this fine day? Splendid. Simply Not ready to take on those ghouls after all? Huh? Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Here you'll find only the best, with a price tag you can boast about to your friends. Your taste in shopping venue is impeccable. How may I assist you? If they got in here, they'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. I hope they come back and get killed by security. 
Really? Perhaps you can. We'd all be terribly grateful. Chief Gustavo will want to know you're willing to help. Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. Indeed, though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it, and he's hired security to keep us safe, but they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? What? Have you lost your mind? He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. My boutique has many unique items for the discerning customer. It's been a pleasure doing business. Pleasant day to you, dear. At a workbench, combine, paint gun, rad scorpion poison gland, toy car, surgical tubing, now improved 10%. By adding rad scorpion poison to the darts that can be found in most ruined houses and stores, the dart gun makes for a stealthy and surprisingly lethal little toy. You're new around here. I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Café Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. Really? Well, that'd be wonderful. Talk to Chief Gustavo about it. It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. Indeed. Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. Now I feel a little ashamed. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. What are you in the mood for? Have a good one.
Hey! Just off there for a moment. Useless man! Edgar. Dear? Hey there! Place gives me the creeps. Hey there. This place gives me the creeps. Get into any adventures recently? Dead. Argyle. You... you're sure? My God. I always thought he'd outlive me by at least a hundred years. Poor bastard. But thank you. Thank you for telling me. At least now I know. At least now the poor guy can catch a breather. I'd like to return your kindness. Here, take this key. It unlocks my safe. Lots of stuff in there I'll never use again. My adventuring days are over. Go make a name for yourself! A workbench, combine, lunchbox, cherry bomb, sensor module, ten bottle caps. This schematic now makes three mines. A cheap and easy do-it-yourself explosive, the bottle cap mine packs a surprising kick, so stand back. Notice. Are you even listening? Uh -huh. Thank you. 
time for some fun! Yeah, how you like it? didn't know who he was messing with. Ha! You got something to say to the butch? If this means more stuff for butch, I'm all for it.
story my fellow if this means more stuff for butch I'm all for it
You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? That's awfully decent of you, even if we already knew those bigoted bastards wanted us dead. Talk to Roy Phillips. You might be able to help us out. Go live your life, kid. Hey, be more careful. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Oh, well... It's not so bad, I guess, once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. 
People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. Please don't hurt me! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. If you want to help us, talk to Roy Phillips. Oh, okay then. Have a nice one. What do you want? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Ha! Ah, those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. What about it? You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But you're dreaming. I'll wait to give you a shot, but then we're doing it my way. You better choose your next words really carefully, because you're starting to piss me off. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious, two-faced asshole. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid, or dropped on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself? Sends a boy to do his dirty work. You think you got what it takes? I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. I already got him. We'll unleash our feral. Ha! Huh. You get. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth skinned bastards like yourself. Hurry! in Rivet City for a drink.
What's the story, my fellow tunnel snake? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it.
Give me a second. Keep your panties on. What's the story, my fellow? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. I see my boutique has proved to be an irresistible lure. Welcome back. My boutique has many unique items for the discerning customer. It's been a pleasure doing business. Charming. You got something to say to the Butch man? If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it.
now's not the best time. Perhaps we could parlay sometime later? Thank you. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Why, I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Miss Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. Penpenny will allow the ghouls to move in, if I convince certain residents of the tower. Mr. and Mrs. Wellington. Mr. Ling. Ms. Montenegro. Ms. Lancaster. Wake up, Wasteland! It's me, Three Dog, bringing you all the music and news your little hearts can handle. What rhymes with shoes and often gives you the blues? That's right, it's time Not for the cashews. After all? Okay, huh? that doesn't really rhyme. How about news? Hey there! Tensions continue to mount between the courageous forces of the Brotherhood of Steel and their estranged brethren, the mm. outcasts. Now, normally, family squad... I'm always glad to see a customer, especially if they are dressed so hideously. Seriously, we have to get you a new wardrobe. You can't be serious. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. Why would you hang out with dirty vermin like that? You enjoy sifting through feces. You know it's only a matter of time before they get hungry and eat you. You're crazy. Ghouls will never live in Tenpenny Tower. Regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? The only suitable place is Tenpenny Tower. Everywhere else stinks and caters to low-life scum like you. I'll die out there. I just know it. Back for the best? You're being serious? That's out of the question. What an absurd notion. I think you must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying? You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hard-working, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? Don't worry. Did you just step out of a vault? Haven't you seen what's out there? I'm doomed. And it's all your fault.
Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Charmed. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? I do hope you're not referring to me. I'm certainly a better conversationalist than some stupid ghoul. And I smell better, too. Dear Lord, are you serious? Ghouls? Living here? With us? That's simply out of the question. I think I know a fair share more than some vagrant blown in off the waists. You are simply mistaken. They may appear nice, but deep down they want to kill. It's common knowledge among the educated. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Damn it! This can't be happening! Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, and scum like you! Now I'll have to start all over again. Where will I go? I already did. I hope one of your ghoul buddies kills you. You'll see. Evening. Edgar Wellington II at your service. Hold on, who let you in here? <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. <laughs> You're joking, right? You serious? Of course not. Ghouls can't live here. They're dirty, loathsome creatures. I'm afraid I can't abide by that. I can't imagine Tenpenny would allow it. But I certainly won't. This is outrageous, preposterous, forced out by a bunch of dirty ghouls and some bleeding heart activist. Where will I live? How will I get there? I found a comfortable place, but now I must leave. When I die, it will be on your head. I can't talk now. I remember you. To what do I owe the pleasure? Goodbye. How are you? Hey there. Watch your manners. Get into any adventures recently? Aha! Uh -huh. So you've been exploring the tower! Well done! Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Well, it does get a trifle bit boring around here. 
And to spice things up, I like to do a little exploring. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento, like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? Well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? Good luck! Bah! I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine! But you better not get caught with that. Well, I wouldn't mind. But they'd better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity, and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. Like I said, it's fine by me. Of course. I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. Go make a name for yourself. Evening. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? Oh, I see. Well, I've never met one, so I wouldn't know. I just always thought, I guess I really don't know what I thought. I know you've been talking to the others about the ghouls, and I've been mulling the whole thing over a few cocktails. Well, more than a few. And I've decided that I'd be willing to give it a go. Having ghoul neighbors, I mean. What the hell? Sure. Well, it's a great place to live, if you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. Oh, you're leaving now? Okay. Bye-bye. My name is Tiffany Cheng. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng. And you can tell him I said so. Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! He made himself chairman, of course. What we need is somebody to do something, not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. It's my turn, eh? I'm still worried. But if the others are willing to let them live here, I guess I could try it. But they better behave. I guess so. It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Bye now. New here? Pick any table except the one in the corner. 
That's Mr. Tenpenny's stable. Nobody sits there. Except him, of course. Welcome to Café Beaumont. Gourmet meals and service with a smile. Very kind of you to say so. Thank you. Oh, I know you've been lobbying for those ghouls, and I've already been thinking it over. I guess I would be willing to give it a try. I guess so, sure. Don't be a stranger to the cafe. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Good day. Yes? Hey there. Is there something I can do for you? Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed-up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. Yeah, goodbye. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Well... If my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them, though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm glad this situation has been resolved. It's a bit crass, but here's a little something for your troubles. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Thanks, Comrade. I'm sure you'll agree that people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate the problem. Perhaps you're right. My wife is always going on about how crazy I make her. Well, comrade, things are great. The best of the best have made a community here. Well, there is that problem with the ghouls, but I think it'll be solved soon enough. I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. You finally got around to asking me, comrade. I've given it a lot of careful thought. I would welcome these ghouls into our community. I've already formed a welcoming committee. All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. Bye. Well, what's the status on Moy Phillips and his gang?
What's the word of Tenpenny, kid? I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the ferals and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our feral brethren if you meet any. Give them hell. somewhere else. 